It's a new year. It's a new me. It's a new poly bag. Same recording pan of destiny. Same channel place. Whatever. Um, it's Ninja Workout from Ninjago Legacy. Um, six plus building toy. There's some numbers. Uh, 31 pieces. Very simple looking thing, but uh, good way to get this Lloyd figure I don't have. La Lloyd, am I right? You want to go to Legoland? You have till 2021 to go to Legoland. Um, components made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China, and the Czech Republic. Pretty normal stuff still. Uh, don't touch it if you're a baby. You will literally die. A choking hazard for small parts. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty basic looking poly bag. Let's... Um, should I do it? Let's let's do a little little speed speed build. So that's the build. It's uh, there's some instructions here. In case you want to see those, this is how you do it. Um, pretty pretty easy. You put Laloid on the thing. You roll that across the ground, and he spinjitsus. Now this, they don't make it clear if they want that to be firm or not. I think if I pull on this just a little bit, we'll be able to. Yeah, get that to spin. Just loosen it just a tad. And now it can spin pretty good. So let's see. That's pretty fun. That's pretty great. Uh, the only extra piece is that thing. Um, so let's look at the first little, little side build first. It's, um, I like it, spinning her. So it's one spinny boy. Um, training dummy, very nice pieces to get. Um, that brown round two by two, the brown head is nice as well. Use it for all kinds of decorative things. Um, and anything with roof slope things is always a uh, really appreciated by me. And uh, that's a fun little play feature. Of course, you can uh, adjust those how you like, and you could replace it with different weapons if you had some different weapons. Um, the next thing is the spinner build, and without Lloyd on it, it's a little underwhelming, except for. That's right, the green ninja symbol. Wow. Looks great. Um, look how it catches the light so nicely. Um, gold printing in there, some black printing, and I think that's it. Well, no, I guess the green is printed too, isn't it? Because hmm. it's gold on the side. Very interesting. Very, very neat. Um, I th I'm not sure if that's a new piece or not, honestly, but it's, it's a nice decorative element. Great to get in a $5 set, uh, $4 set, $3 set, whatever poly bags cost. Um, in your local area, I got it for however much from wherever I bought it from. Um, this thing is kind of neat, and I don't know. Yeah, it comes out pretty okay. <clears throat> so this is the new piece to, um, to do that spinning action. This is a standard wheel size, so you can put the little rubber wheel piece on there. Make it roll very nice. Give it some friction. Um, and then it's just got four studs on the top in a round pattern. Hmm. Um, then it's got this claw that attaches. It is on a Technic pen. Pretty easy to do. Um, they recommend you do it like this so that you can roll it and keep it flat. What if I were to change it up? Hmm. I don't know if it matters. Either way, great little thing. Um, great way to get the Spinjitsu guy. Um, speaking of Spinjitsu guy, Laloid. He has the silver um, kind of Chinese style sword, I believe is what people are calling it. It's um, 
It's a little more elaborate of a sword, kind of like a half scimitar. Uh, it does have a rectangular um, hilt guard, hand guard, and uh, the uh, bar piece on the end to put the tassel. They didn't include the tassel with it. It probably would have been crazy flailing around from the, um, the spinning action. So I don't uh, no points off for that, but a nice sword to get. Of course, we got the katana, so we could always just give them a silver katana. Now, the printing here is pretty interesting because um, it matches up just like a lot of Ninjago prints do from the torso to the um, legs. And if we bring the light all the way forward and bring him in real nice and close, you can see the real, real tiny pattern, little diamonds or something. Crazy, crazy amount of detail in this guy. Um, some gold printing there in the top corner, shoulder area, but it's black on the other side. I don't know if that's uh, lore related. I do like the pants by themselves, even though there's just a little bit of printing on the, the hip piece that's a little too specific for um, for just anything. It doesn't quite match up, but around back, we do have some more um, gold printing, which, so, I mean, this is obviously why they did the golds, because it matches this so nicely. Um, again, more tiny little details. The belt extends around back, doesn't go onto the hip piece, whatever. Um, and you can see the first side of his face, of course, which is the, <laughs> what are you going to do about it, loser face, uh, from the Ninjago movie, I believe. And then the Lego Ninjago movie, um, now I mean business face on the other side. And then, of course, this is the new headpiece for 2019, in case you haven't seen that. Beautiful, beautiful dual molding going on there. Pretty sure it's dual molding. Could be printed, actually. Is it? No. I was going to say, because this piece is, uh, you can see the little extensions into it to keep those two pieces of plastic together real nice. And that's the um, the figurine so nicely. Um, kind of a very nice throwback to kind of a more classic style helmet, I think. Um, and of course, you've got the spinner and the um, training dummy. I guess we're going to call it a training dummy. Um, so that's the thing. If you're uh, new here, if you aren't subscribed for some reason, I got, I got a lot of polybag reviews I do. Um, over here is the subscribe button. In this corner is Dragon, and he'll give us an automatic video. And in the middle there is another Ninjago or something that I picked for you. Um, you're welcome, and thanks for watching. Rest in pieces, my users.